what brought me to, to Israel is I, I guess some of us can find it hard to answer. How do we get certain battles that get placed in front of us? But when a battle is placed in front of us, we have to make that choice. Are we going to go out there and fight that battle or are we going to ignore it and walk away and, and pretend as though it was never placed in front of us? And, and this battle, uh, the catalyst for me uh, going over to Israel for the first time really occurred when I was uh, when I was a student at Harvard University uh, in Cambridge, Massachusetts. I was living very close to a big park in Boston called the Boston Commons. And uh, at this time, this was in 2014, uh, what was going on was Operation Protective Edge at this time that, that this catalyst occurred. And in Boston at that time, there was a lot of anti-Israel protests that were going on on a nightly basis in this, this large park that I was living right next to. And uh, as I'm watching on TV uh, each and every night, the, the attacks that are going on in Israel and seeing everything going on there and the politicization of it and, uh, and the attacks uh, politically against Israel for defending herself. And as I go out to this park and see all these anti-Israel protesters and and folks out there that uh, you know were waving BDS flags and you name it. Now, I was a US service member. I'm very easily recognized as a US service member. I usually have a ball cap on that uh, says Army Rangers on it, and I don't have any legs. So people can put two and two together mm. pretty quickly. And uh, one night while I was out there, some of these protesters even harassed me for being a US service member uh, when they were actually out there to, to really uh, harass Israel or those that are supporters of Israel. And that's when I really first made this jump in my mind for how quickly those that that detest Israel and, and have this double standard for Israel protecting uh, herself, uh, how quickly they make that jump to attacking the United States of America or those that defended the US as well. Um, at that moment, myself, I was out there with my family when this occurred. Mm -hmm. And uh, so when that happened, I went home that night and I'm sitting with my wife as we were for so many nights watching the news and seeing what was going on. And I'm saying, listen, I don't know what it's gonna look like yet, but I'm gonna find a way and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna show my support for Israel because this is a ridiculous double standard that's going on where they're being attacked, they're defending themselves. So I uh, you know, sought uh, out the State Department and uh, our, our consulates and other places and said, how can I go and, and find a way to serve, hopefully militarily, and uh, they found this path uh, and I worked through SARL to go and serve and you know, hold no rank, but but uh, play a role in supporting their military over there uh, in Israel in uh, early 2015. And it's an experience that I never look back on. I learned an incredible amount about Israel and the culture and uh, what I respect about why people fight or don't fight over there. And uh, I'm sure we can get into all that if you want to, but I learned a tremendous amount over there just through that experience, being on base, being in uniform, being next to uh, all of the, the service members of the IDF at that time.